One of the original attractions in St. Pete was not a theme park of the beach, but rather a drugstore. Doc Webb came to St. Pete in 1926 and opened a small pharmacy, but that was just the beginning of something very special. Over the years, that little drugstore kept expanding. And before you know it, it is a seven square block shopping mecca. Again, this is 1926 when he arrives. He is like the ultimate showman, an unbelievable marketeer when it comes to business. During the Great Depression, when businesses throughout Florida were struggling to stay alive, he continues to expand. Throughout the years, that tiny little drugstore became half the block and then the full block and then more and more blocks. And then before you know it, he creates this thing called Web City. This was a mall before anybody knew what malls were. And at one point, there were 77 separate stores that you could go to. He owned them all. You could just pull into Web City and pretty much take care of all your needs. And it wasn't just shopping. It was like a full day of just crazy entertainment. He had an area that becomes famous for the dancing chicken. There was a kissing rabbit. And then of course the live mermaid show. And he'd close his parking lot off and he'd have three ring circuses in his parking lot. He was just this amazing event marketing person that just happened to own stores. He undersold everyone. His mottos were stack it high and sell it cheap. He drove the Chamber of Commerce people crazy because he was always undercutting their prices. He undercut the price of Ipana toothpaste and he was actually sued by the uh, Ipana uh, company for doing that, for not selling it at the recommended retail raid and the case went all the way to the Florida Supreme Court and he won. His advertising was spectacular. He was the largest advertising in what was then the St. Petersburg Times. He never wanted to, to be outsold by anyone. His whole marketing ploy was to bring people to our city, not just to shop there, right, but to actually bring these tourists to St. Pete and not to other parts of Florida. And it worked.